Hey, good afternoon, fellas. Here's my first leg all glued up. Just wanted you to take a look at it and share it with you. Uh, I think it's gorgeous. It's going to be awesome. Uh, gluing it up was a real learning experience. Uh, just putting all these little pieces together taught me a lot about squeeze out and uh, time frames as far as how long you have to uh, time you have available to let the glue sit before you have to start clamping and things. I had to go out and buy more clamps because I found out I didn't have enough clamps. Down here on the bottom, it really went together very well. And as, as I moved up because of slight inaccuracies in the cutting, it kind of started getting off a little bit. But I think by and large, it's going to be really nice. Down here, you can see a couple of little saw marks that I tried to it. Uh, shave off a little bit of the leg and I messed up down here. I, I got out of square a little bit So it made a couple of burn marks, but those are going to disappear when I run this through my jointer uh, It's very heavy. It weighs almost 22 pounds uh, It's going to be cut off right here um, This is my worst error right here. I don't know if you can see that little notch from the the distance of the camera set up there. There's about a 16th inch and it goes down to a 32nd or so. This board was put on crooked. It's flush on this side, but I don't know how it got out of square. So, and I, and I didn't notice it when I was clamping it. Luckily, when I draw my notches in here or, or cut my notches in here, this will go away. Um, before I go on, let me take a quick break and show you a little diagram of the, of the leg. Okay, fellas, hi. This is a diagram and sketch up of the leg I am currently putting together in the shop. You can see the dimensions pretty easily. Uh, the mortise on the bottom is five inches tall. Top of the mortise is 10 and 9 sixteenths from the bottom of the leg. And the bottom of the mortise is 5 and 9 sixteenths from the bottom of the leg. The dimension of the leg facing the table is five and a half inches and the side is five inches. Total height of the leg is two feet, eight and five sixteenths, so that's 32 inches, 32 and five sixteenths inches. And out of the top, I have a notch cut two and a half by two and a half square, and it is four and a half inches tall, which is slightly below the height of the joist that's going to fit in there so in order to have the bench wood fit on top of that. So that's the dimensions of the leg I'm working on right now. Let me get back to the movie real fast and um, I'll finish up. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Um, I'm going to make four more of these. I can't wait to get my joiner to run this through and clean up this edge. I measured it and I have the where's my square? Let me go get it. Pardon me guys, I wasn't quite ready. Okay, so this is going to be the inside leg, inside of the leg facing the table, and this dimension is going to be five inches. So I've got my square set to five inches. So you can see I have a little more of an eighth to play with as far as running this through the joiner and cleaning up this edge. The inside dimensions are going to be five and a half. So if I set my square to the five and a half inch mark real fast, you can see that I'm going to have about the same, about an eighth of an inch to play to run this through and, and clean this up and make it look really good. So I'm going to put this aside for now, and I'm going to go ahead and start making my second one. Uh, just a funny note, guys, let me grab the camera. I want to show you something. I'm right outside the shop here, and what happened when I was at the mill, the guys couldn't stand it that I was fishing through the, the lumber. So they had me back my truck up under the chute and I collected all of this wood just raining down out of the chute. And so what I'm doing, I'm going through and I'm going to 
uh, take my time and pick out some of the pieces that I can actually use like this one this is just really pretty so I can use that one the ones that are not going to be usable are going to go into the wood burning stove in the house this is alder by the way I thought it was maple but it is not so I'm making my legs out of alder and it burns really hot I think 15 of these boards heated up the whole gigantic living room to 75 degrees uh, the other night so it was amazing uh, they had pity on me because they couldn't stand it that I was working uh, with pieces of wood so they went inside and got me a couple of longer pieces here's one that's about 32 inches long and here's another one they got me right here and here's another nice board they got me out of there so they just couldn't stand it I was working with these pieces guys but uh, I told them not to worry about it. So again, here's the final uh, close-up of the leg. You can see what I'm doing. And uh, when I get the second one back, uh, finished that is, I'll show it to you. I can't wait to get my um, jointer. I'm so excited to get my jointer and my other woodworking equipment. As a matter of fact, the tent sale is this coming Saturday, so I'm going to go over there and see if I can at least get a planer. Uh, my jointer won't be here to August, but if I can get a planer, maybe I can run at least one side of this through the planer and get it squared up. So thanks for uh, hanging out with me. I'll be back uh, later on to let you know what I'm doing. Take care. Bye.